what they don't know is that you are passing through what your bed pants my little children of whom I travail in bed again Galatians chapter 4 verse 19 that what will happen that Christ will be formed in you that is the ultimate purpose that is captured in the heart of God the formations of Christ eh? and the formations of Christ is not possible until the day of power appear anybody that tells you that it is possible for you to live the character the character of God is not possible in the heart of a man until power comes the Bible said that it is God that is at work in us both to what will and to do there are two dimensions of the working of God in this scripture and if you check the word work in that scripture it is gotten from the Greek word energy after me energy I didn't hear you after me energy for it is God who is at work. That word work there is a nejo. And all forms of power can be summarized in the energy that they generate. Is it not true? It doesn't matter whether it's miraculous power. It doesn't matter whether it's the power that makes us to conform to the image of Christ. Ah, have you not heard the song that the psalmist sang? The man from the north. Ah, bring in everything. In obedience to Christ, swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know? In his hands is the keys to eternal life. A little here and a little there. Until the day we done, he's out walking me. What? Bring in everything. In obedience to Christ. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know, in his hands, is the keys to eternal life. <laughs> a little here, and a little there. Until the day we die, he's out walking me. Bring in every day in obedience to Christ. That word walk in that scripture is a nejo. That word walk in that psalm is a nejo. It is the power that has the capacity to conform you to the image of God. You don't know how rebellious the soul of man is. There is no discipline. There is no words of man that have the capacity to cause you to conform. It will take the energy forging from Christ to make you to conform. The Bible said in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, he said, God has made Christ unto us sanctification. He has made Christ unto us, say after me, power. power. There is Christ, the power of God. That is what it takes to conform a man. Have you not find yourself where you want to stop lying and you cannot? When you want to be a good man, you cannot. You listen to the best preaching, holiness, everything. And then you come and cry at the altar. You leave and begin to do the same thing you cried about. Huh? It is then that you know that it takes power to cause your soul to confirm. Emejo! Somebody knows that it takes two hours night BG for his destiny to manifest. For him to become the man that God has ordained. Once it's 12 in the night, you sleep till 5 a.m. And you cry after crying tomorrow you repeat it you cry again after crying tomorrow you repeat it what's the problem after me and a Jew. a young man is looking at himself and know that he has a calling upon his life but masturbation has masturbation has reduced him to to teach you pepper masturbation pornography has reduced him he has gone for all kinds of counseling and nothing changed what does that person need? For you are the one at work where? Both to will and to do. After me and Ejo. How can you be looking at what you need to do? It's not as if you don't know. You now know. Or you do it now. It is not coming. It seems as if the days are slipping away as the, the time is passing. Huh? You want to become this but it's not happening then it will mean that the power has to come. The dimension of God's power at work in us is not commensurate to the demand of our destiny. 
we have to cry, oh God, in you, in you, walk again in me. Walk, 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 walk. Suffer me in you. Suffer me in you. God have to do something to you, cause it's all. Or God, God have to do something to you. Huh? It is there that I found that counseling is not enough. A young man met me when I was doing youth service. After counseling, many young pastors have counseled him. He brought his issue to them. He told them he is a masturbation, fornication, pornography, all kinds of things. He's into witchcraft. He's into all kinds of stuff. He is a courtist. After telling them, they gave him counseling. After the counseling session, he went to sleep. And in his sleep, they tapped him. Then when they tapped him, he now saw himself in the village shrine. They are sh the shrine of their town in the village. Huh? And inside, he's, he's in the city. Oh. They tapped him and he appeared in the village. When he appeared, they were coronating him by force, the chief priest of his village deity. You are not, you are not, you hate me. The young man is saying no. He went to pastor for counseling. Nothing happened. It's after me in a jail. He told me he's tired of bring, telling pastors. He's tired of going for counseling session. No wonder Paul cried. The thing I want to do, I can't do it. The one I don't want to do is the one I'm doing. There are people that they know what, what to do. You are angry with them at your own peril. Your anger with them doesn't change anything. It is not as if they don't want to behave this way, but there is a Nejo. after me, Nejo. There is a specific kind of power, specific measure of power that it takes to cause the soul of that man to conform to God's view for, of him. God's expectation of him. There is an energy it takes to conform him to the image of the Christ. God is the one at work. Where? Both to will and to what? 